Hey there! For those of you who are new to our channel, my name is Lisa. I'm sitting out on my beautiful porch. It's earlier in the day, so it's not super crazy hot yet. It's gonna get there. I've got another Mediterranean shopping video for you today, and today we're gonna talk about some fun, healthy summer shopping picks at Trader Joe's. Where we are in South Carolina, it is super, super hot. And all we are thinking about is not heating up the house with the oven and having some delicious al fresco dinners out on the patio, things we don't have to cook too much, things like salads and food boards and fun stuff like that. We've got beautiful tomatoes and cucumbers and eggplant coming out of the garden. So these things that I'm talking about today are going to complement what we've got coming fresh out of the garden, what you might find at a farmer's market. So when you first get into Trader Joe's, you see the fresh fruits and vegetable area. And so I picked up a couple things from there. This is my favorite organic herb salad mix. It has so many fun different combinations of greens and it's got a ton of fresh herbs in it. I love the fresh dill in here. And then I'm not growing any asparagus myself, so I picked up some, some asparagus. It's always a great summer vegetable. We do a lot of coleslaw, and this is also really great for making egg roll in a bowl. So we've got some organic shredded green and red cabbage with carrots. And then I've never seen this before, but I picked up this baby broccoli because I just thought that this would be a fun thing to make a broccoli salad with. In the frozen section, I picked up this organic rainbow cauliflower because how fun is that? And then we always get a couple bags of this super sweet corn. It's organic corn and it's really good to put on top of salads or just whenever you are making corn as a side. If you've been following me for a while or you've seen any of my other shopping videos, you know that I am a cheese fanatic and the cheese section at Trader Joe's does not disappoint. I'm always looking to pick up our family's favorites and I'm also looking for something new that I haven't seen before. I got this Israeli feta which I love. Anytime I buy a feta cheese, I really want to get the feta that is soaked in brine. It's a sheep's feta and it's just going to be really, really good. I especially love feta and watermelon together. I just put a recipe on my blog for a watermelon feta salad and I will link that below. It's just so good, so refreshing, and you definitely want to use the feta and brine for that. Watermelon, fresh cucumber, mint, and feta. It's where it's at. Then we do pizza night every Friday night around here. We do a whole wheat pizza crust and a really great thing to top pizza with is burrata. So burrata is great on pizza. It's also really, really good. Like a salad, you can kind of do like what you would with caprese with burrata. So good. It's like, if you've never had burrata, it's like a mozzarella ball with cream cheese in the middle of it. But it's not quite cream cheese texture. It's just like... It's a creamier texture than cream cheese. I don't even know how to describe it. It's amazing. You need it in your life. Burrata is definitely something I'd pick up at Trader Joe's. This is a salad that I made recently with burrata, pecans, and fresh corn. It was amazing. If you've seen any of my other Trader Joe's videos, you know that I always get this. I always talk about this. This is the creamy Toscano cheese dipped in coastal Syrah, and it is literally my favorite cheese on this planet. It is so, so good. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I will go as far to say as this is life-changing cheese. This is something that you definitely don't find at every store. So this is a Dutch sliced goat's milk cheese. Just the fact that it's goat cheese in slices. So if you have a hard time eating regular cow dairy and if goat or sheep cheese is better for you, this is a really nice product to find because you can have grilled cheese and it's just really nice. Anything you want a sliced cheese for, you've got this. So it's actually really good. and then more goat cheese. This is just a creamy goat cheese. So it's kind of like the texture of a cream cheese and you can just spread it right onto your bread or your bagel or whatever you're eating. Really, really good. 
Trader Joe's has a really nice organic peanut butter. There's no salt added and the only ingredient is peanuts. So that is a really good find. And then the raw almond butter. Again, what you're looking for is one ingredient, which is almonds. So that's a really nice almond butter. I talked about these in my last video, but these dark cacao chocolate chips are so good and I absolutely love them. So I picked up another bag and if you haven't tried these yet, I highly recommend them because it's just really great if you want just like a little hint of chocolate in your oats or just to sprinkle on top of some whole wheat pancakes, really good stuff. So I have recently become a fan of the Sardine Club. If you have not tried sardines yet and you're afraid to do it, I was you just a couple months ago. I had never tried sardines. They kind of creeped me out. I don't know why I was so afraid of them because it's actually really similar to tuna fish, but for some reason, which I love tuna. So for some reason, I was just really hesitant. I bought them and they sat in my cupboard forever and I was afraid to try them, but they are such a good, healthy choice. And they're so full of those essential omega-3 fatty acids. So definitely give them a try. I found two different kinds of sardines at Trader Joe's. So the first one is packed in olive oil. The only ingredients in here are sardines, olive oil, and salt. And then the other one is just sardines in spring water. I'm going to show you a picture of what I did with my sardines. I actually did a reel on these, what I made. I, I made this really good open-faced whole wheat sourdough sandwich with them and they were it was just so good whole wheat sourdough with avocado sardines fresh tomatoes and hot sauce so good so if you're afraid of sardines give them a try especially if you like tuna i think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised these next two things i was super excited to find i love couscous and since i started the mediterranean diet i have not been able to find whole wheat couscous but i found it at trader joe's i'm really looking forward to having this i love cold couscous salads i love having couscous hot as a side so this is just something i'm really excited to play with in the kitchen and if you love couscous i'd love to hear what your favorite thing to do with it is and this is something different the only ingredient in here is organic dried spaghetti squash i just thought that this was kind of fun and i love making a baked feta pasta with a ton of vegetables and i usually use either whole wheat pasta or I'll use quinoa sometimes, but I thought that it would be interesting to try it with this, so I'll let you know how that is. I grabbed a couple cans of these organic Great Northern Beans. These are really good for making a cold bean salad, and if you haven't tried it yet, you can make a great Tuscan white bean dip with some good olive oil and a little bit of salt. Really, really nice for dipping vegetables or to put on a food board. Artichokes. So artichokes in cans are hard to find not soaked in sunflower oil. Sometimes you can find them in water, but most of the time they are in sunflower oil, which you definitely on the Mediterranean diet, we are looking for olive oil. So sunflower oil is a no, but these... I was really excited to find because these are in olive oil and then the other ingredients that are in them are all dried herbs. So I thought this was a really good find because this is something that you can really easily take on the go. We go out on the boat a lot in the summer, so I thought this would be fun even for the boat. Just a fun little thing to pack for a picnic or just some other like hiking, just wherever you just need a little packet of something. I just thought it was cute. I picked up more of this organic date syrup. I love drizzling this syrup on all kinds of different things. It's really great on my oats. It's great to top desserts. Love drizzling this just over some fruit with some Greek yogurt. It's really, really good. I think you'll really enjoy this a lot if you haven't tried it. Greek yogurt with peanut butter, fruit, and some of that delicious date syrup drizzled. I grabbed this Dijon mustard because I just think it's really pretty for food boards. It's just a nice presentation, but a nice seedy mustard. It's going to go really, really good on those food boards and it would go great with sandwiches. And last but not least, 
I'm always excited to try a new olive oil. And so this is a Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. My grandmother's side of the family is from Sicily, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. And I also grabbed some organic red wine vinegar. So I hope this video inspired you to get some great, healthy summer picks at Trader Joe's for the Mediterranean diet. If I miss some of your favorites, let me know in the comments what they are below so I can go check them out.